Let's import our solution and then set up all the Dataverse security and then share all our apps with our users. Yeah, both our model and our canvas, right? So this is episode nine of our multi-part series on comparing model-driven apps to Canvas apps. And so thus far, we've built the tables, we put it on a solution, we built our apps, both a model and a Canvas app, and packaged it all up. And so now it's time for the big payoff, right? We're going to import this into a different environment and share it out with our users. Let's jump over to my desktop and get started. Okay, so here in Power Apps, right, this is our solution that we just exported, right? We're in the Shane default environment where we built this. And so what we want to do now is we want to go import it into my personal environment. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the drop down here and we're going to change the environment from Shane default down here to Shane Young's environment. Maybe it should have been the opposite way, but you know, whatever. This is what we want, right? Because if we look in this environment right now, if we want to look under tables and we did a search for vendor, for example, there's no tables here, right? Because that stuff doesn't exist. We're in a different environment, a different database. So all new tables, apps, all that, right? If we want to look at the list of apps, we would not see, we'd see the old test ones, but we don't see any of the stuff I just finished building minutes ago. So to get that into this environment, what we're going to do, is we're going to click on solutions and we're going to say import a solution. We're going to select a file. So browse and my downloads is what we just did. Open. And we're going to do next. So now it's like, hey, it looks good. We're going to say import. And now it's going to start the process of deploying all of those pieces, right? The tables, the relationships, the apps, the security roles, the components, all of the things that we just did over the last eight or so videos. The one thing to keep in mind, though, is that the data doesn't come, right? All of the pieces come. But those uh, vendors we made for Power Apps 911 and Buddy and all those products like the tennis ball and the, the model driven class, none of those are here. So do keep that in mind. Like that's the only jarring thing. So we we'll have to create some data. But creating the data will be our way to validate that all this works. Also, once this finishes, what we're going to do is we're going to share it all with Chewy instead of me, right? We know I have the rights. We want to make sure that we can get it so that Chewy has the rights to use it because then we know that we've shared it with a generic user without special permissions. All right, that's crazy. It literally took exactly two minutes to import. Keep in mind how long your import times are gonna depend on how much data you've got. But now that it's imported, look, there is my solution. If we were to go over to tables now and we were to do a search for vendor. So look, under recommended, they're not there. So you kind of freak out. But remember, because it's a managed solution, there's not a table you can mess with. So if you have to go to all, and then it would be under all, right? And there's our name, PA911 vendor. So we know because it's managed. So our data is here. Our, all our pieces are in here. First thing I want to do is we're going to need to share our app with, or sorry, add Chewy to our security role. So to do that, we're going to go to up here on the right, and we're going to say Admin Center. This opens up a new tab, and then we're going to go to Environments. We're going to scroll down and find our environment, right? So the Shane Young environment, right? Not the default one, this one. We're going to click in here. We're going to go to Settings. We're going to expand Users and Permissions. We're going to go to Users. We're going to find our dear Chewy. Click on Chewy right here. And then we're going to say Manage Roles. And we're going to find our role that we just created, which I cannot remember what I called it. Hopefully something like Video or Vendor. Video, Vendor, vendor and Product. Good job, me. Whew, I almost forgot what it was. So we're going to click on that and we're going to say save, right? So that's giving Chewy that role. And we know that that role has access to our tables. So now we should be moving right along, right? So there you go. So now Chewy's in there. So now we can get rid of this tab and we'll go back over here. We can find our apps. And so there is our video vendor canvas app. And then there is our model vendor and product management. I don't know why they're separated. Who cares? So first to share the Canvas app, what we're going to do is hit the ellipses here. We're going to say share. We're going to go up here. We're going to search for Chewy. There's Chewy the dog. And then we are going to not make him a co-owner. And then I'll hopefully move my face. And then it's going to show you all of the roles, right? And so you can see that Chewy has already got video and vendor, which has access. So we shouldn't have to do anything. So we're going to say share. All right, all permissions were changed successfully. And so then now we also want to go down here to model vendor, right? The model driven app right there. Same thing. We're going to do a share here. So Chewy does not currently have access. So we're going to um, select the app over here and make sure that it has the role that we just created, right? Where is our lovely little role? 
video vendor and products. We're going to click there and we're going to say share. So that will share the, the app with it, right? Let's the app have access. And then because we've shared the app with that role, Chewy was in that role. So Chewy has been added here and he has access. So boom, we should be in business. Okay. So now we're going to open another browser tab. So we'll hit the little thing here. We'll click on Chewy. Now it's Chewy. We've opened up the make.powerapps.com. Now make sure we're in the right environment, right? I just super confused myself. I edited it out, but I confused myself. Now Chewy can't directly just go to that environment. He doesn't have rights to it. So actually we're going to go back over as me and we're going to click on the ellipses here and we're going to say details, All right? So this is the model app. We're going to copy this link and in the Chewy tab, right? And it's always orange is the way to know. Click on the thing here, hit paste. And so this should navigate us to the model app as Chewy. And we should see, look, no products available, no vendors available. That makes complete sense, right? But if we go here and say, all right, let's create a new vendor. So new PA911, right? I'm too lazy to click it again, right? Earth main contact will search for me. And so there's no contacts here. So we'll have to create a new contact. Do you want to save our changes? Yes, save and continue. And so then this is like, hey, what is the contact's name? It is Shane Young. And then because we show the email address, we'll make sure we put that in here as well. So then we'll save and close that. So now if we're back over here, now if we search for contacts, there I am. Contract date can be today, doesn't matter. Approved, no, I will make it approved, yes. Logo, choose our file. And so what is this? This is Power Apps 911, so that would be this logo. We'll do the little university logo of Chewy. And so then now we will say save and close. And so over here, we've got a vendor. And then to make sure we have a product as well, right? Same thing, new product, product name. Uh, app builders price is 950. Whoop. Though there is a special price if you sign up for both, just email us, we'll tell you. And then that would be a one time. The vendor would be PA911. Remember, we can't do the image until we've saved once. So we'll do a save. That'll create the record. Now we can choose this. Now in my downloads, we had the lovely little logo for that and that weird squared offness, but it is there. Save and close. And just like that, right? So awesome. Our app completely works for Chewy. Yeah. All right, let's go back over here. Let's go back to our apps. All right, so this is back as me again. And so we want to grab the Canvas app right here. And so we'll do details with that. We will copy. And Chewy would have got an email with all these links, but we're just trying to speed the process up, right? And so if we do this and we paste this in, we should see the app. Yes. And if we go in here to vendors, we see the vendor that we just made, right? And if we were to go to products, we see the product we just made. There's our filter, our drop down. We could edit, new, create. Oh. And ladies and gentlemen, look at that. We have went from nothing to building it to configuring it all, exporting it, importing it, working on security, sharing it, everything, the whole nine yards. That's pretty cool. So all that leaves us in the next video, right? The next video what we're going to do is we're going to compare and contrast the two a little bit. So I just want to talk about some of the nuanced things that are different now that we've got the two, right? We've seen the nuanced differences we're building, but I want to talk about some of the things that are different about the two now that they are done. So we'll kind of go over that. We'll also talk about some of those extra features that Model Driven Apps gets. Oh, kind of a neat little video. So the video link should be up there. If it's not there, remember then it will be out tomorrow. And if uh, you're a YouTube subscriber, you'll get notified. So just be a subscriber, like it, all that fun stuff. You know what the drill. And with that, I'm going to say thanks and have a great day.